to show you how to solder these little slices that I cut from a hollow knife. I've just got them all set here on the soldering tripod. And I'm going to start on one end and go around to the other. While I'm soldering one, I'm actually heating and heating the next one, getting it ready to be soldered. No, it's, you know it's ready when the solder starts to melt as soon as you touch it onto the metal. You have your solder pick ready in case the pieces move away from each other. You want to do it with your finger all the time, but just remember that it's not a good idea. This solder that I'm using is our lead-free rosin core wire solder. No flux necessary because the flux is in the center that is the rosin core. Move this over a little bit so I can get the heat right under it. Move this in a little bit. Solder pick is very helpful for helping to move solder too. You got a chip. If you're working with solder chips and one moves out of place, it's not going to stick to the titanium of the uh, soldering pick. It's great for moving solder around. Move that one just a little bit. And move that a little bit too far. Alrighty. Hopefully, if I did that right, everything will stick together. Put some water on that, pull it off. I gotta get a spray bottle. I think it was Janet Knudsen said spray bottle. She said, uh, was right, that would be much easier. Stuck a little bit. Pop it off of there. Well, probably it's a little bit too much solder to attach to the screen a little bit. Okay. There you go. It's all ready for you to finish up. Talk to you soon.